Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about modifying the subtask panel. So we all know about the subtask in Jira and these subtasks are really great way to break up your activity into further smaller activities and when you look at any specific issue in Jira you have the option to of course uh, create more subtasks when you go to the more option on top and also you can uh, uh, click on this plus sign here so if you have let us say two subtasks in your uh, in your in your main parent activity you can take a look at the list of those subtasks you can see the name uh, i mean the summary you can take a look at their uh, issue type the status and of course uh, the assignee. So let me create one more so that we have uh, some uh, information. So let us say we create uh, maybe a new child activity. It is a subtask and uh, right now we have three items in the list. Now one thing which I wanted to share today is uh, the concept of adding more columns in this particular view. So when you look at this panel, this uh, whole panel here will show you of course a list of uh, subtasks along with uh, some key information like uh, the summary progress and the assignee but what if you want to add maybe one more column of course you can go to this individual subtask you can take a look at the whole issue but let us say you want to add a priority or maybe you want to add any other field so there is a way to do it and that way of uh, adding a new column is not very straightforward so let us do that uh, configuration so if you go to your jira admin so first go to your jira administration and then click on the system option let me open it in a separate tab uh, so while you're inside your system uh, settings which is basically under your general configuration click on this button called advanced settings so when you click on the advanced setting you can probably search for something like sub task so you'll find this entry here uh, called jira.table.columns.subtask so this is basically the, basically the place where you will uh, add or remove um, maybe an additional column or maybe you can have two more items here so if you click on the uh, the field here you can probably specify maybe let us say priority so i'll just enter my priority and uh, I can save this. So this will include one more field that will be displayed under your uh, subtask panel. So if I do a refresh of my uh, issue, I can see here that uh, we have these uh, visual indicators that will uh, show you the priority for low or me medium or high maybe. We can also add more fields. Let us say you want to add uh, maybe your labels so let me add my labels here and i can also add maybe my components so when you update this field uh, you can have more uh, items that you may want to display when you're looking at your subtask panel so you can see here now where that we have labels if any we also have the components and uh, uh, for the third item, let us say we add some, uh, let us say we want to add maybe uh, something here. We, we will first edit this. So if I probably want to add maybe my three components that I have in my issue, I may want to also change the priority to blocker maybe. So this information will be displayed here while you're looking at your subtask list. So this is all I wanted to share in this video and uh, the whole purpose of uh, this uh, this configuration is to basically make your life a bit more easier. The only thing that you need to be concerned that you need to be concerned of is uh, this change will be now applicable across your Jira instance. So uh, this is something that uh, you should probably uh, keep in mind. If you're doing some change, make sure make sure or maybe if you're if you're adding a new field make sure that field is applicable to wide range of uh, projects if not all of them so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, thank you very much